know you don't like me. You wanna fight me. You don't want no problems at your party. Don't invite me. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Watch me live. So in today's video, I'm going to be predicting what's going to go down at NXT TakeOver 31. And yeah, I'm wearing your WWE shirt to get in the mood. Liv Morgan, one of my favorites on the roster right now. Currently, I like her more than Alexa Bliss, at least gimmick-wise. Alexa Bliss is still my favorite. But right now, gimmick-wise, Liv Morgan is my favorite. Anyways, let's get to NXT TakeOver. Um, so the first match is Escobar versus some dude. I don't know his name. The Cruiserweight division is not doing it for me anymore. I used to like the Cruiserweight division, but after like Drew Gulak and Cedric Alexander, they're on the main roster and TJP is no longer with the company. I just, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, I just don't care about the Cruiserweights. I do think that Escobar is going to retain and that's that. So the next match we have is Kushida, or whatever his name is. Sorry, I don't know how to say it. Versus Velveteen Dream. I think Kushida is going to pick up the win, and I think <coughs> Velveteen Dream is going to be drafted up when the draft happens. So yeah, I'm going Kushida. The next match, I think, is going to be Io Shirai versus Candice LeRae. This match pains me because I love both of them so much. I'm so happy Kyle won his match, and I'm so happy that Candice won her match. Those were my picks to win their title qualifying number one contender matches. I love Candice and Io both, so uh, either way, whoever won, I'd be happy. They had a great match last year, so I know it's going to be a great match either way. And um, my pick is going to be on EO though, because I think Candice LeRae will be called up as well, like Velveteen Dream. So I think EO is going to retain. And then next we have Damian Priest versus Johnny Gargano. Same thing with Johnny, I think he's going to be called up. Johnny's going to lose, so Priest will retain. I don't like Priest. I like Johnny, but I don't like Priest. But Johnny, I think, is going to the main roster, so I think he's going to lose. But if Johnny does win, I'd be happy. So, And then the last match, we have Finn Balor versus Kyle O'Reilly for the NXT Championship. That makes me so happy. I love both of those two, too. I do think Finn is going to retain. I think Kyle O'Reilly is going to be called up with the rest of the Undisputed Era. So I think all these call-ups are happening, and they're going to have their big last matches. The only one who I don't think is having the last match is the Cruiserweights. Nobody cares about them anyways, so yeet that. And yeah, I'm excited to see what goes down at TakeOver 31. I heard that someone's going to be returning during the pay-per-view. I don't know. Can't wait for it though. Can't wait to see Candice LeRae and EO, and I can't wait for Johnny Gargano's match. Finn and Kyle are gonna have a good match. I'm just excited. All right, guys, thanks for watching this. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Bye. So now, baby, did you know you saved me?